to have you on an absolutely awful Saturday. Not good for the pubs, not good at all. You know, this weather, it's it's like another kick in the teeth. However, um, I was supposed to be gardening myself today and buy a, have a look or whatever. Um, yeah, obviously it's chucking it down with rain. It's not good gardening weather, so I'm doing it tomorrow. However, the wife said to me, well, Get what you get. What you were going to get tomorrow. Get it today. And I thought, go on, man. Uh, never want to turn an, um, an offer down. So I've been. To, um, I've done another beer haul as well. But I've been to Castle Rock Brewery, uh, their pop up market in West Bridgeford. The poor lads serving are absolutely frozen. Bless them. And the big thing about today is, is that well, there was a new beer released last week, and a brand new beer today. Now this beer today is a special beer. Now I'll go into that. So, from Cat, oh dear, not the bottle over. From Castle Rock Brewery, brand new out. It's Seeper. It released last last weekend at nine p.m. nine a.m. Um, and uh, we'll get the magnifying glass out because it's as dark as hell at the back of the shed. So it says here, soft and easy drinking session pale ale packed full of Simcoe, giving satisfying citrus and passion fruit flavors. Balanced by an earthiness and pine notes. The alcohol content is 4.3%. Ingredients are malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, yeast, water, allergens in bold. Um, obviously, it's a Castle Rock Brewery beer, but like most breweries, um, they're using they're using Attic Brew Company based, I think it's in Birmingham to be fair. Yeah, in strict Sturchley in Birmingham. To actually brew it for them until it, they take it back under the, their wing at Castle Rock. So very much a Castle Rock beer, obviously, using all their ingredients and whatnot. So, Sipa Singo Session IPA. Or Sipa, if you want to call it that. So that's the first of the beers. And that beer on its own is a good beer. And then, what did Castle Rock do the other day? I think it was Tuesday. All of a sudden, all of a sudden... They're releasing another beer, and uh, I'll get. Oh, turn that light off. Um, we'll have a little throwback to last November. I think it was November. Liquid Light, another great brewing company in Nottingham. You know, really Nottingham. We've got some cracking brewing companies. Liquid Light um, released. Interstellar Galactic Woman Raisin Stout, which is, I think it's about 13 or 14 percent in a can. 13 pounds 50 a can. 700 of them. Four minutes in, sold out on the website. And couldn't get a sniff. Oh, I thought I was going to give it 20 minutes and see if I could get one. Because I, I love Interstellar Galactic Woman Raisin. It's absolutely amazing. So this week, moving forward. Castle Rock released, uh, put on their website about a new beer in collaboration with Emperor's Brewery. And Emperor's Brewery uh, from Leicestershire are oh, kind of like stouts, the gods of stouts. Um, and I know from the beer review community that, um, you know, they're sought after. And the good thing what Castle Rock have done they're only allowing people to buy one each. That's good because it stops this situation where people, and this has happened with a lot of re releases lately, the Cadbury's Cream Egg debacle, where people buy six or seven because they've got the money. Go and flog them on eBay for five times the amount, which is awful. It's awful for the, for the brewery trade, for beer fans. So well played, Castle Rock. So anyway, there we are. Storming the Emperor's Castle. Let's, let's have a little... Uh, so it's Castle Rock Brewery, collaboration with Emperor's Brewery, like I was saying. And it's a double mashed Imperial Stout. Bucket the ads. I'm not sure what that means. Bucket ads. Yeah. Bucket, bucket ads. I'm not sure what that means either. Don't stand there. Just gawking. And obviously... It's a Star Wars related beer, as you can see. Look at that, eh? So, 
and it says on the on the back it's a 13.5 percent 330 mil four and a half uk units well, who cares about units double imperial start brewed in collaboration with Darth damien Darth damien of emperors and aged in antillian rum spelt with an rh barrels for 12 months over a bed of fragrant and sweet organic tahitian vanilla pods and the ingredients are water, malted barley, oats, wheat, hops, yeast, muscovado, sugar, vanilla pods. And the allergens are in bold. So yeah, that's it. Now, it's 10 quid for this bottle, which I think is not a bad price for something this decent. What I will say is, it's at West Bridgeford's Market today. This video is going live the minute I've done. But it's also online at 10 quid. Um, if you're quick enough to snag one, brilliant. And uh, Greg from Bowman's Bear Reviews, a great bear reviewer. I'll do. Uh, <laughs> he delivers a bear review and, you know, everyone's got their own style there, but he's a good lad. Um, and he gets bears before me always, so it, it needles me. Not really. But anyway, he's, he's, he's actually bought one of these this morning, paid a tenner, and he snagged free delivery. So I'm not sure, he's not sure if he got free delivery or not. So... It may be a thing that you might even get free delivery. It may be. Or it might have been a glitch. God knows. You know, if you if you go on and have a look, Castle Rock Brewery dot, I think it's dot co dot UK. Let me just double check. I'll just say on the back. It's dot co dot UK. So yeah. And yeah. Happy. Happy as a pig in something. Um I will be reviewing it possibly when Greg gets his because I'd like to review it together, maybe even a collaboration review, if I can get StreamYard up and working through my both my phone and the computer. Um, that's what I'll try and do, that's what I'll try and do. So um, I did it the other day with just a computer, but it was a bit laggy. I'm gonna try using the phone, let, letting my computer be the host and using the phone to jump onto the thing. We'll see if it's possible. I'm not sure if it's possible or not, but I'm sure I'll find out one way or the other. Uh, I'm sure I'll get good help off uh, the beer community. Um, and that's it for this uh, beer haul video. Only two can, a can on the bottle, but crackers. And you know, it's good to support our local. I'm not from Nottingham, born, bred, lived in Nottingham all my life. Uh, worked in West Bridgeford, not far away from um, the market today. And uh, yeah, it's good to support. And... I can't wait to taste this. Right, thank you all. See you later. Cheers.